Hello, I'm Tanya. And I'm David. And we are out side by side. On our last trip coming home with our travel trailer, I was looking in the rear view mirror. It was really windy. And I was noticing that our aluminum corrugated siding was bowing out and coming off. If this has happened to you and you'd like to fix it yourself, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Our travel trailer is under warranty and we actually have an appointment with the dealership to have the repair done, but we have two trips planned. We don't know how quick they're going to get around to doing it, so we're going to tackle this ourselves and hopefully cancel the appointment. We really want to show you the process because we've never done this ourselves, so uh, this is going to be new for us. The way that these uh, travel trailers are constructed is called stick and tin. Uh, so basically what you have is the, uh, the wood framing and then these panels are attached to the wood framing. These panels, um, I believe they have staples, believe it or not, that are stapled into the, the wood studs and then the next panel locks into it. So the problem is, in, in order to do the repair correctly with screws, you have to take the trim off of the front in order to get to the panels to get the screws in it. Uh, you can see right here, this is our issue. Um, when we were driving, this was popped out about this far, and I was able to lock it back in. Um, but as we got back, you know, as we got back on the road, I could see it pulling away again. Uh, the way that these, these uh, panels react is it's kind of like an airplane wing. As the wind is blowing down the trailer, if it's real windy, uh, it can actually suck the panels out or lift the panels out. And these staples that they use are either uh, coming out of the wood or tearing through the aluminum. Um, so, Basically, what I need to do is, is take this trim off in order to expose, uh, lift one panel to expose it to put the screws in and then lock them back together. So we're gonna see how this goes. So basically, the way that this works is there's a piece of rubber trim right here that you pull out which exposes the screws. I believe this is one piece of aluminum that is held in with screws and what we're going to have to do because our repair is all the way at the top I'm going to take it off at the bottom so I don't mess up the seal at the roof. Now that I have the rubber trim removed and we've removed the screws from the siding up to the roof we'll see what's underneath the trim. So it looks like this aluminum trim has putty tape on it. And it looks like the aluminum siding has silicone sealant on it. You can see how this siding works. So basically this piece locks into this piece. This wind today is no joke. Not a good day to film, but we gotta do it. So here's our first staple. And you can see where this second staple is ripped right through the panel. So basically what I need to do is pop this out. Here's the problem. The staples have ripped right through the aluminum. So now I think what I'm gonna do is put screws back into the wooden studs. The problem is I'm not gonna be able to put a screw in the same location as a staple because the aluminum is ripped and torn. So I'm gonna to have to come up with another solution. We talked about this in our other video where we did the modification. Uh, it's just really disappointing how they're using staples for everything. I mean, no screws. You're in inclement weather all the time. And then this is what you get. Basically, here's the problem. Here's your staple and the aluminum has ripped. Uh, the staple is actually still in the wood and holding well. Um, 
and the only place that you can actually put a screw or a fastener is in these wooden studs. So there's one here, one here, uh, here's another one here. And uh, so I'm going to have to try to figure out uh, how I can fasten that because the siding is, like I said, it's ripped. And you really don't have a spot that you can put a screw. It has to go in that stud. So we're going to try to figure out what we're going to do on this one. So the way they put these things together is so fast. Uh, but one thing they could do to prevent this is possibly put some liquid nail or some type of sealant on the studs and then put the staples in. It would do a much better job of holding it. Uh, but this is what we have to work with. So we're going to try to repair it the best we can. And hopefully we won't... Uh, have this issue again somewhere else on the trailer. So as of right now, this is what I've come up with uh, as a solution. I took some aluminum and I cut it with my snips and I drilled a hole in it. And we can put a screw in it like it's, so it's like a washer uh, to spread across the stud and help hold the aluminum in. And we'll see if this is gonna work. So here's the first one. As you can see, it's it's holding much stronger uh, than what we what they had before, and uh, hopefully I'll still be able to tuck the aluminum in here where that screw is at. So here comes this, uh, the next one. So we have all the screws and the, uh, the plates that I made uh, screwed back wherever we could get a screw. So now the hard part is going to be tucking the uh, next piece of siding into it. So let's see how that goes. So now what we're going to do is take off the old silicone. Uh, we want to put new silicone so we have a really good seal. Okay. Now that we got most of the silicone off, scraped off, we're going to just kind of wipe it down with some uh, warm soapy water. So now we're gonna to try to seal it up the best we can uh, to prevent leaks. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and run a bead of silicone all the way down the siding and then put the trim back on top of it and then also seal it from the outside. Make sure we get it underneath the trim and then we're gonna come back and caulk it after we screw it down. So now that we've got the, uh, the trim back on and the screws in it, now I'm trying to seal and uh, with silicone uh, the gaps in the corrugations. This is pretty messy and I'm just trying to be as neat as I can, uh, but you pretty much get it all over you uh, after you get it. Then you have to come back with your finger and wipe it off the best that you can without getting it all over your trailer. Okay, 
so we finished the project. Uh, we found out some things we didn't like about uh, what's going on in the build quality of our trailer. Our next trailer will definitely not be a corrugated stick and tin. Um, there's just so many uh, pieces and the way that they're built, I'm just really not satisfied with it. So, yeah. uh, but it's been a great trailer so far yeah. and we've had a lot of fun with it and, yes. and we know that things like this are gonna happen. Uh, we, I was able to take care of the repair. Um, it wasn't easy, um, but uh, at least we can use our trailer next weekend for sure and I won't have to worry about the siding peeling off on the interstate. Yes, and just remember that uh, the travel trailer life is so much fun. You learn as you go. If you have any questions, if this is something you plan on doing, let us know. Please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get upcoming videos. And thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.